what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you the three best ways that you can use to make payment to your chinese supplier so if you're into mini importation business then you need to ensure you watch this video to the very end before i go into it if you're just coming across my channel for the first time you're highly welcome my name is oni omura and here in this channel i create content around starting and growing an online business i go in depth with importation business exportation business affiliate market and different ways you can make money online so if you're looking for ways to make money online or you're into mini importation you want to grow your mini importation business you're definitely in the right channel and you're watching the right video do well to subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss out on my subsequent videos also if at any point in this video you find this video helpful please do not hesitate give the video a thumbs up it's very very important so without much ado let's dive straight into the video of today now talking about the three best ways that you can use to make payment to your Chinese supplier the number three on my list is using a credit or a debit card yes you heard me right you can actually use your local card to make payment to your Chinese supplier you can use this card to make payments on platform like Alibaba.com or Taobao okay if you're shopping on platform like alibaba.com you can actually make payment with your local bank card in the same way if you're making payment to your Taobao suppliers you bought things on Taobao and you want to make payments there on Taobao you can actually use your local bank card to make payment however if you want to make payments on Alibaba or Taobao using your local bank card please ensure you have a MasterCard or a Visa card these are the cards that are accepted on this platform you can either use Use your MasterCard or you can use your Visa card to make payment. Please take note of that. If you have a Valve card, I'm sorry to tell you this that you cannot make payment to your Chinese supplier on Alibaba or Taobao using a Valve card. Now you need to go visit your local bank and request for either a Visa card or a MasterCard that you can use to make payments online okay so this is very very important so the number two on my list is top pass alipay top pass now you can use your alipay top pass to make payment to your chinese supplier on pindodo 1688 and taobao take note of this you can only use the font in your alipay top pass to make payments online you cannot use it to credit another alipay account hope you get me right there's a very big difference between an alipay account and a top pass account Yes, a top pass is a mini app found in the Alipay account, but there is still big difference between your Alipay account and your top pass account. Now, you can only use the funds in your top pass account to pay your Chinese suppliers on 1688 taobao and pindodo okay now for you to top up your top pass account you need an international passport and your local bank card these are the two requirements it is very very important these are the two requirements you need an international passport and your local bank card ensure that you're not using somebody else bank card to top up your alipay top out sometimes you just get blocked immediately ensure that the name on the international passport you use is the same name on the bank card you intend to use so do not use that of a friend especially in your top pass so as not to get blocked at the end of the day it is very very important to note this so therefore you can actually use your top pass to pay your chinese supplier all you need to do is to go to your alipay and then go to the top pass mini app and just Fill in the necessary details you need to fill in, get your topaz verified, and then you top up your topaz with your local bank card. With that being said, the number one way that you can actually use to make payments to your Chinese supplier is using your Alipay account. Yeah, this is actually the best. You can use your Alipay account to make payments to your Chinese supplier. All you need is a verified Alipay account. And to verify your Alipay account, you also need an international passport. Yes, to verify your Alipay account, you need an international passport and your phone number. Just go ahead and download the Alipay app and register with your phone number and then go ahead and verify it. Now, take good note of this that you can only fund your alipay account with a chinese bank card or through a chinese bank account 
it is very very important for you to note the difference between your alipay account and then your toll pass account for your toll pass account you can fund it directly with your local bank card while your main alipay account cannot be funded with your local bank card you can only fund your alipay account with a chinese bank card or a chinese bank account that is what you can use to fund your alipay account however there are other ways that you can fund your alipay account without an exchanger because I know some of you usually ask what are the other means of funding my Alipay account without the service of an exchanger there is a website that you can actually use to fund your Alipay account without the service of an exchanger actually this website will charge you for your transaction they can charge you up to five percent per transaction now if you want me to reveal this website to you that you can actually use to fund your Alipay account without an exchanger go down the comment section of this video and drop it as a comment right there if i see that many of you are interested i'll go ahead and make a video and show you how you can actually fund your alipay account through this website okay so these are the three ways you can actually make payment to your chinese supplier a very quick recap the number three i said you can use your local bank card to make payments on alibaba or on Taobao. Number two, you can use your toll pass account to make payment to your Chinese supplier on Pindodo, 1688 and Taobao. Then the first one, which is Alipay, you can use it to make payment to your Chinese supplier on all this Chinese website. You can also use it to pay your Chinese supplier directly to his or her own Alipay account. Now, there are some limitations when you're using your toll pass account and when you're using your bank card to make payments. In my subsequent video, I'll go in depth and explain to you all these limitations so that you will know it and know how to use any of these payment options better. So guys, if you've gotten value from this video, please and please give the video a thumbs up so that other people that are interested in video like this will see this video and come watch immediately. Thank you for watching. It's bye for now.